I'm going to share one of the most powerful implementations of Notion. It's a system for tracking your personal wealth and net worth in one centralized place. And that alone makes it incredibly useful for anyone. But it uses Notion's most advanced features and distinctive capabilities and best practices for architecting workspaces, all within a pretty simple system. And that makes it the most effective tool for learning Notion from any starting point to the highest level of Notion proficiency. Because if you can recreate this system from scratch, you've truly mastered Notion in a way where you can fully leverage it toward your unique goals and objectives. And through a series of tutorials, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So be sure you're subscribed on YouTube and to Notion VIP. You're going to learn essential functions and formulas, how to get the most from relations and rollups, database templates with self-referencing filters, custom page layouts, Notion's wiki feature that offers the structure of databases with the flexibility of standalone pages, native automation capabilities, and integrations with other apps, including ChatGPT. So I'm going to walk through what it looks like to use this system. And for members of Notion A to Z, it's available as a template for you to use and to reference as you learn to recreate it. And soon it'll be part of the Bulletproof workspace, which is also available to members of Notion A to Z, along with all Notion VIP templates and resources. If you're not yet a member of Notion A to Z, consider joining us so you can make the most of Notion. So at the top of the main page, you'll see nice visual representations of your total assets, total liabilities, and your net worth. And below are views of assets and liabilities grouped by category. Each card displays the title, which is populated with an automation that follows a consistent naming syntax. Then we have the item's most recent valuation. And for those with an associated provider, like a bank or broker or lender, you'll see that institution in the card as well. And you can click the card to open the asset or liability. That's going to show you the most recent valuation at the top and then other important information grouped by category, which is accomplished with Notion's custom layouts. So this is an item of the holdings database, which aggregates assets and liabilities. So each item will have an assigned type of asset or liability. Then it will have a category, a subcategory, and if necessary, a specifier. And these are what inform the automatically populated title. Then we have a relation to its provider. So providers is another master database of this system. As you know, my number one rule for Notion is to structure all information in related master databases. And this system is no exception. Then we have the last four digits of the account with the provider, along with the URL for accessing the new valuation each month. And in most cases, that'll be statements for accounts like checking, savings, investments, retirement, credit cards, and your home and auto loans. Then within the page body, we have a line graph showing the change in valuation over time. And below that, we have all of the assets' monthly valuations grouped by year. So valuations is the third and final master database of this system. They're what inform the timeline and the last valuation and the summary charts at the top of the main page. So this is just a view of the master valuations database. And it's populated and filtered automatically for this asset from a database template with a self-referencing filter. And it takes no time to add valuations manually. But we're also going to see how you can supply them in bulk to ChatGPT to parse and add to your system automatically. And then also on the main page, we have a view of all providers. With each one, you can see the net worth of the assets and liabilities associated with it. And if you open a provider, you'll see that net worth, which is then broken out by assets and liabilities. Then we have a list of the assets and liabilities related to the provider from the holdings database, which offers another access point for managing them. So you can see how useful the system is for managing all of your assets and liabilities in one place, and how it's such a powerful implementation of Notion within a relatively simple system to create a highly effective tool for learning Notion. I can't wait to walk you through the development of each sophisticated feature of this system. And in the meantime, go ahead and duplicate it from Notion A to Z so you can start using the system and maybe peek under the hood to start getting a sense of how it works. And this is just version one. I'm going to add expected taxes to the net worth calculations and a template for managing holdings and valuations within providers. And as long as you're an active member of Notion A to Z, you'll get each new version. I'll see you soon for the first tutorial.